Hello, I'm Alexander Sudrev. Today I want to discuss with you the global problems of mankind and ways of solving them. As you know, mankind aspires to automate all processes of live activity. These include line production and a large variety of electric devices, computers, robots, common mobile phones and other gadgets. All of them require a colossal amount of electric energy. Currently, the main consumers of electric energy are induction motors and lightning. Let's talk in more detail about induction motors. They constitute the greater part of all electric motors in the world, about 80%. Let's delve into where they are used. They are applied in industry, agriculture and public utilities as well as other areas. No production can operate without drives, pumps, ventilators, transportation and conveyors, machine tools and lifting machines, as well as a large variety of other production machinery. Even common water supply and heating in your homes functions thanks to using induction electric motors. And now let's talk about where you can come across induction electric motors daily. Every day you use a washing machine, refrigerator, dishwashing machine, microwave oven and hair dryer. If you're working with electric tools, you might use an electric screwdriver, drill, jigsaw and variety of other tools. All this equipment operates thanks to using electric motors. And it is a colossal amount of electric energy, which as you know, should be produced. It doesn't appear out of nowhere, and methods of producing it often cause considerable harm to the planet's environment. Of course, there are energy production methods that are environmentally friendly. But unfortunately, currently their capacity is not enough to meet all needs of mankind. And it really poses a serious and important problem for mankind and the planet on the whole. Our company, like many others, work on addressing this problem. And at the moment we have a ready specific solution. We offer a unique technology of combined wind and types called Slavyanka. Standard induction electric motors operate using either the Star or Star Delta wind and type. Dmitry Duinov offered a unique approach and combined two wind and types in one, which gave unique performance characteristics to the motor. In particular, high capacity, high energy efficiency and distinctive reliability, while keeping the same size of relatively simple induction electric motors. And these are not just words. It has all been proved by a large number of patients and license agreements with hundreds of wind and specialists. It's worth noting that this solution allows to save up 30% of electric energy. And now let's imagine if we save even 20% of electric energy worldwide. It will contribute tremendously to improving our planet's environment. Besides, we should keep in mind that annually about 7 billion of new electric motors come into service, and about the same amount of them undergo full repair. Being aware of that and taking into consideration the fact that for producing motors based on Slavyanka combined winding technology, less electrical steel, aluminum and copper is used. By remaking two standard electric motors, we can produce four motors with Slavyanka combined winding type. And their efficiency will be times higher than its standard ones. And we shouldn't forget about the effect of plant obsolescence. What is that? It means producing goods with an artificially limited useful life to provide repeat purchases. In simple terms, it is creating goods with limited service life, after which it simply breaks down and goes out of service. Planned obsolescence turns our planet into a huge dump site and drains the resources. We can challenge that without technology. Referring to data we have mentioned, using induction motors with Slavyanka winding can significantly improve the environment and exert certain economic effects. The need in this technology is growing with every day, and the application scope of this technology is very wide. Another important aspect is that motors designed using this technology 
meet the requirements of the new IE3 standard that has recently come into force in Europe, and it has substantially tightened the requirements to all electric motors used on the territory of the European Union. Here on today's video comes to an end. If you are concerned with the global humanity challenges, you have a unique opportunity to join our numerous team. To do that, please follow the links in the description, subscribe to our channel, register your personal account on the official site to stay informed about the latest and most up-to-date project news. It was Alexander Sudarev. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time.